Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Andrew running with Dr. Andrew, and today is an update to the Nike React Infinity Flynet 3s. This shoe right here, guys. Um, I did a 100 mile review a couple weeks ago, and then my initial um, first impressions review as well. And uh, did some little research on the phone looking at Runner's Warehouse. So this shoe normally goes for $160. That's how much I bought this shoe. They actually dropped the price on this shoe here. This is a brand new shoe. Um, this uh, colorway is $124. And so if you are wanting to buy this shoe, um, I definitely watched my reviews on it too, on my take on it. I've been, I have about 170 miles on it. It's starting to definitely break in a little better than whenever I um, initially wore it, as well as the first 100 miles. Uh, but still, I'll still be kind of cautious buying this. But again, the price point might be a little better for the shoe now. It's a $124 for this shoe when it was originally 160, uh, you know, about a month ago or so. So it's a very good price for the shoe. Um, I think this is probably what the shoe should go for originally, rather than $160, just because of what you can probably get some shoes that are just um, as cheap as $160 or just as expensive, or spend a little bit more, you know, $40 more, you might, you know, you're be getting a super shoe, you know, like the Saucony Endorphin Pros or something like that too, um, compared to having, you know, this shoe here too, it just depends on your one. But overall, it's been a fairly good shoe. There's just a couple things uh, that I covered in my uh, review, 100 mile review, that I was concerned about. And so, again, this is a very short video. video. I just wanted to share with everyone uh, about that information. So just in case you are deciding to buy this shoe, Runner's Warehouse for $124.99. All right, hope everyone keeps safe out there, keep running, and we'll see you next time.